Hey everyone, it's Greg here, and you already got instructions on how, you know, the best way to upload a video and optimize it, and, you know, what you already learned will actually get you pretty far in the search engines just alone by itself, uh, especially if you're in local niches, you know, medium to low level local niches or long tail affiliate keywords, this can actually rank you pretty well. You know, you may see yourself pop on you know, th third, fourth, or fifth page, but it will slowly move up over time, even without links in a lot of cases, all right? But uh, there is times when you're going to need links on top of that, and I'm going to show you uh, the ways you can get links, you know, what we recommend and, and what to pay attention to. So there's a site called Fiverr.com. That's F-I-V-E-R-R.com. That's just Fiverr with two R's on the end. And there's a couple types of gigs that you can order for YouTube videos that I like, and that's stuff like... Uh, that, that has Web 2.0 type stuff in it and lower amounts of links but higher quality. Okay, you, you used to be able to go into Fiverr and just order like 10,000 10, 000 blog comments and it would work fine, but now that's not working as well. You have to get the higher quality links, you know, lower amounts of them, and then of course get your, your anchor text correct, which uh, the anchor text is the the text of the link. All right, so if there's a link that says if this was a link right here and it was clickable and it went to a website, the anchor text would be positive rating. Okay, so you see right here. So anchor text is just what the text says of a link, and that's you know Google puts a lot of weight on that for for whether your your property ranks or not. You know, in this case, a YouTube video, because that identifies what that property is about. But on the other end of that, you can also go overboard with it. So if you have too much of a specific anchor text keyword, then you're gonna have you're you're gonna end up getting penalized. Not nearly as likely with YouTube videos because YouTube is so popular. They have something we call high demand authority because they're a popular website. But it can still happen. All right. So. I'm going to show you some specific gigs that you can order. They cost five dollars, and they they will definitely help your website rank or your your YouTube video rank better. The first one you can go in here and search this guy. His name is C underscore Stort. Let me actually zoom in. You can see right here C underscore Stort, and then this gig right here is called I will SEO backlinks that are safe and powerful for five dollars. All right, and in his description down here, he tells you what he does. You know, they put they embed your video into 14 plus web 2.0s and if you don't know embedding your video on a website can help it rank better and I do it all the time uh, and then they he goes on to describe what they do here you know they're not doing thousands and thousands of links they're doing lesser amounts of links on higher quality sites so this is the type of thing that we're looking for if we're especially if we're using Fiverr we don't want to be going after the tons and tons of links ones you know like 10,000 blog comments we want stuff like this you can actually use this gig now I mentioned anchor text. In this case, when you order, he's going to ask you for the URL of the property. So if it's a YouTube video, you give him, you know, go to the YouTube video, then copy the the URL that appears when you go to the YouTube video and give him that. And then he's also going to ask for three keywords. So just give him. I usually like to do the main keyword I'm trying to rank for, and then two broader keywords. So if I'm trying to rank for like, um, let's say Detroit search engine optimization. I'll give them maybe Detroit search engine optimization, and then I might give them like Detroit SEO, and then just something like search engine optimization, you know, by itself. So maybe I'll give them one or two broad terms, and in this case, two money terms, and then one broad term. Or you could go, you know, Detroit SEO, and then the other two you could do um, SEO, and then like marketing. Okay, so that would be that would be just one specific and two general. But I like to not do as many keyword optimized uh, anchor texts, especially if they're very similar, just to stay safe, especially with a gig like Fiverr. Um, and that's just what I recommend for you guys for, for a gig like this. Okay, so again, you can order this. It'll be five bucks. Give them the, the URL you want to rank. I give them a keyword or two, and then maybe a bro. Give them two two keywords, okay? So if you're trying to rank for Detroit SEO, you'd give them Detroit SEO, Detroit search engine optimization, and then just something like marketing or search engine optimization by itself, all right? So that, that that's a good way to do it for, for this gig. And then he's he'll also go ask you for an article if you have one. You don't have to include it. If you don't include it, he'll give you one, okay? And most people will probably just let him do it, and he'll spin it and all that stuff. All right, so here's the first gig you can use. Again, this guy's name is C underscore Stuart. Another one here is by a guy named Salman Aslam, okay? S-A-L-M-A-N-A-S-L-A-M. 
And this one is just, I will create over 50 high PR Web 2.0 profile backlinks to your website, blog, or video for $5. Okay, I forget specifically what this guy asked for when he gives it, but just again, when you're giving him your keywords to rank for, don't, if he says you can have as many keywords as you want, don't give him a whole big list of keywords that are all very similar. Okay, we're trying to stay away from that, even though we'll probably get away with it with YouTube. The way that SEO is heading, uh, it could not work further down the road. So your video could end up ranking, then lose ranking. So we're just playing it safe, and this is the best way to do it, in my opinion. Okay, but I forget exactly what he asked for. It's probably very similar to this other one here. But that's another one that you can order, this one right here. All right, and if you're going to order other gigs, just order stuff like this where it's, you know, 50 or less links, maybe 100. Uh, I would stay below 50, and just the higher quality stuff like Web 2.0, social, stuff like that, all right? Stay away from 10,000 blog comments, 10,000 GSA links, stuff like that. And it's not to say that doesn't work. It's just I would stay away from that stuff, especially on Fiverr. They usually don't know how to get the anchor text correctly with that many links. And then also there could be a lot of low-quality links mixed in footprints there could there's a lot of problems that can come in when there's too many links like that in those big gigs or in those gigs with with a lot of links so that's the first way you can do it and this will this will help your your uh, video move the other way you can do it is something called private blog networks okay now a private blog network is basically it's a term used to describe either one site or more of sites that harness the power of an older site for, for your own use okay so let me give you an example so if I had a, a a very let's say let's let's say an established coffee shop in Nashville all right for some reason I decided to shut the coffee shop down you know the coffee shop had a website it was like you know um, Nashville brouhaha.com something like that <clears throat> but when I shut it down, or as as I was running this website, it was very popular in Nashville. So, you know, a lot of sites in Nashville linked to me, linked to my website. Links harness power, okay? The more powerful the websites are they're linking to you, the better that power is going to be. Um, so let's say I had a lot of good websites linked to me. Even, let's say, Nashville.gov linked to me. They said, you know, hey, if you ever visit Nashville, we, we highly recommend NashvilleBrouhaha.com. You know, it's one of our big tourist attractions for, for coffee. Uh, you know, stuff like that. So, and, and there's tons of these sites all around. And, of course, it goes beyond coffee. There can be, you know, old business, other old businesses, you know, government-type agency sites that they went out of business, conferences, like, you know, sites that were set up for, like, a conference. I mean, there's just, the list goes on and on for sites that are out there that expire every day. So, for some reason, I decided to shut down the coffee shop, which means the website ends up getting shut down or maybe I pass away you know I'm the business owner and I pass away and the website just doesn't renew because I, I own the website and now no one's there to renew it so whatever the case the website does not renew which means it then goes to auction okay during this auction people like us can pick up these websites and harness the power of them to link to stuff like our YouTube video remember even though the, the website expires all the people that are linking to it or linking to that website are still powering that website. So even if the website's not up, that website has power. So we can take it, put up a new website, and harness the power going to it from those links. You know, again, say Nashville.gov's linking to us and a whole bunch of Nashville businesses. Most of those people are never going to realize that this this place went out of business. Or if they do, they're not going to remember they have a link to it. Uh, or if they do even remember that, they're not going to go and change the link or take down the link. It's just the way it works. Most people don't. have been doing this for a long time. So most of those links are going to stay in place or go on that website. So this website is still powered, uh, but no one's using it, right? So we can go into auction and pick up this website and then harness that power and harness that power by linking to our YouTube video, all right? So, again, all these links from these Nashville places, they're linking to NashvilleBrewHaHa.com. We can take that NashvilleBrewHaHa.com, buy it at auction, put up a new website on it, just set it up on, on, on some type of hosting, and then link out to our YouTube video with relevant content. So if you had a video on, um, let's say, how to... Uh, how to build a batting cage, right? You would want to link, you would want to have put up 
you would want to get the site on hosting, okay? So you'd buy the, the domain, it would go to a, a, a set registrar, wherever it is, and they'll give you login information for it. You would go and set up hosting for it, okay? Set it up on hosting just like you would any other website. And then you install WordPress, put up content on baseball or batting cages or something like that. And in that content, you link out to your YouTube video on how to build a batting cage, you know, from because it's now relevant content on that site, and all of these links are still going to that site, harnessing that, you're harnessing that power, all right? You're, you're changing the topic, but it's still got link juice going to it. So that's what an actual, it's actually called an auction domain. Um, that's that's part of a private block network. You can also get expired domains, or deleted domains, they call them. And these are domains that never get picked up at auction. They get recycled into the regular domain pool, so you can pick them up anywhere like Namecheap.com, GoDaddy for regular domain price. But they still have a lot of links going to them. You know, it's just no one ever picked it up in the auction phase, so it gets recycled. The age gets reset, and it ends up being a deleted or an expired domain. So you can also get them as well. They're they're cheaper, but they're usually not as high quality. All right. Now, two places you can find these domains are this first one is free. It's expireddomains.net. You can mess around on here. This is what it looks like when you log in. Okay. And then the second one that I like to use is called Register Compass. And this one is $37 a month. But you can really get a lot of different uh, filters you can use to really help. Okay. And I'm going to show you some just to help you uh, for anyone that wants to mess around with this. So I usually do make sure it's indexed. Okay. You don't want a de index site. <clears throat> And then domain age, I like to do less than 2013, so at least has a couple years of age on it. Domain authority, uh, you can do over 19. Okay, and you can do expires in the next, you know, whatever you want to do. If you want to look every seven days, and I usually look at Namejet and GoDaddy. Snap, I don't do as much anymore because they go to weird registrars. But let's just say Namecheap uh, pre-release. So I'll either do Namejet pre-release or I'll do GoDaddy uh, public. Those are the two I do. All right. Well, that's that. Let's actually do GoDaddy public since we have it set. And then we'll go find domains. And this will show us all the domains that are in auction phase that are between our filters. You know, a domain authority of 20 or greater, uh, older than 2013, and then they're indexed in Google. What did I miss? Why is nothing coming up? All right, so I think I was just logged in too long. I just hit the dashboard, went back, did the same filters. Searched again, and I got 2,774 auction domains that show up for that. Here's the expired domains you can look at as well. Again, these usually aren't as high quality, but you can get them cheaper. Okay, So I'm just going to go check out the auction domains. And this will load up all 2,700 plus of the domains that fit our filters. And then from here, you can, or, you can organize a lot of different ways. Um... Some people do by age, some people do by price, some people do by when it's expiring. I usually do by the domain authority. So organize by domain authority. And then what you can do is you can start going into these sites and just seeing, checking out the backlinks to them. And what I recommend you look for is sites that have backlinks where they look natural, okay? So, for example, if it is a site on on environment type stuff, uh, and you can tell with the anchor text usually, then you want to make sure that the links are coming from relevant sites, like, you know, stuff that would cover stuff about the environment, okay? So let's go and just take a look at one. So this one, no, not that one. And you can tell a lot by the name of the domain, too. Like, for example, I wouldn't go after something like, you know, make money online because I want something that's more natural. Or like shoesretails.com, that, that's not going to have a lot of natural links to it. Like someone building this website would do so to make money, okay? I'm looking more for websites where people build them to provide value to, to the Internet because that's the type of sites that get natural links. 
Alright, so let's go down here. Alright, so here's one right here. It's a twelve dollars. Actually, let's let's go to a different page. Let's go to page nine. Cause sometimes these higher domain authority ones can can be a little tricky. So I'm just gonna go a little deeper just to show you an example of what I look for. So now we're in the domain authority twenty nine. Again, what I'm doing right now is kind of looking at the domain names. I'm looking for stuff that, for, for d domains that look like they would help provide good information to the internet, because those usually have good links going to them. Okay, here's one right here. It's at $17. It's a PR2. Looks like it's in science and biology, which usually is okay. What I use sometimes is, is SEO Site Explorer, but you can use any any uh, tool that looks at backlinks, but we'll bring this up in OpenSight Explorer. And then we just want to look at the quality of the links. And things you can look for are stuff like the anchor text. So you wouldn't want a whole bunch of anchor text that said um, like buy Cialis and stuff. So look out for the spammy anchor text. And then you just want stuff from, from sites that look like they are on a relevant topic okay so this actually has a link from an edu site that's that's a good thing you can go and check out that link a lot of directory type sites so not the highest quality but this site would probably work okay so let's go take a look at one more i'll try to find a really high quality one this looks like maybe like a, an old city website, like a, for an official city. That's actually a redirect. Be careful of these redirects. See how it says it redirects from this URL to another URL? You'd want to actually click here to see the links going to the actual website we're looking at. And you always want to check the www version too, because they're different URLs. Right? So remember, this is a, it looks like a website that would be on like some type of city. So we're looking for relevant backlinks to that. And we kind of see that. Like you can see, you know, links from Ancestry.com, Irish Central, Im Immigrant, um, Calendar of Events, uh, you know, Arkansas Celtic Music Society. And again, it's linking to a location. These are Irish, you know, again, something with Irish. So it looks like this website used to be about something... Irish, maybe an Irish city or something like that. Uh, yeah, you see right here, Irish Culture and Sports Center. So this actually looks rel. These, you know, these are what relevant links look like. Um, natural relevant links. Okay, so this would actually probably be a good site to go with as well. All right, so that's what type of stuff you want to look for in a, in blog network sites. I know that's pretty quick. Uh, of course, we have more in depth training in, in other in other places, but that's just a general. If you want to actually take it a step further and go with more powerful links, then this is what the type of stuff you can look at. You can go this this which is uh, Register Compass again, thirty seven dollars a month, or you can even do it for free at expireddomains.net. Just be careful, you know, the, the sites you get. Make sure they have quality links going to them. And then once you get the website, it will be set up again in a registrar. Whoever was with, they'll give you the login information. You want to get the website up on hosting, okay? Make sure each is on. I like to put each site on a different host if you're if you're using multiple websites to link to the same property. And then for anchor text from your PBNs, you can do more keyword related because they're higher quality links, and you're not going to be needing as many links. So, for example, if you get three PBNs and you're linking to a YouTube video, you can usually do three. Uh, keyword optimized anchor text. Okay, so you could do Detroit SEO, Detroit search engine optimization, and then like SEO in Detroit, and that'd be fine for YouTube video. If you want to be extra safe, you can do two keyword and then maybe one, one link with just the YouTube video in there, or a YouTube embed, something like that, where you just embed the YouTube video on the PBN. But with PBNs, I do use more keyword rather than the five gigs, where they they do a lot more 
generic type anchor text. All right. So hopefully this video was helpful. Again, most of you will just li likely just be going with these Fiverr gigs. Uh, again, the information you got on setting up the video and just that initial setup is very powerful and it'll get you rolling pretty good. And then a lot of you probably will just need these Fiverr links to get over the bump. Uh, if you're in more competitive markets, you're going to need to start going to the private blog networks and stuff like that. Okay. All right. So hope again, hopefully this video was helpful and I will talk to you all soon.